Welcome to Spotlight. I'm your host, Josh Chapman. I'm here with Sally Smith. And today's show is brought to you by Simcoe Energy Gas Company. Sally, how are you today? Great, how are you? I am very well, thank you. So, Sally Smith, Program Director at Innis Port Huron? Yes. Correct, yes. correct? Good. Okay, so Innis is one of those um, those companies that do a lot of great things, organizations that do a lot of great things for kids in our community. Um, and we're here today just to talk about all the phenomenal work that you do. So tell us about Innis. Yeah, so Ennis, Mr. Ennis actually started Ennis Center for Children um, back in the 80s. Um, he was raised by his grandparents, and he knew at that point he wanted to help children. Um, so he did start Ennis Center for Children. Um, St. Clair County actually came about in 2009, um, where the St. Clair County Department of Health and Human Services asked us to open up. Um, so we are actually one of many locations, um, but of course I'm very passionate to Port Huron, um, being the program director there. Um, we really work with the community. So our mission is to really, with the community support, um, help to preserve families. Um, and also, if that is not an option, um, then we will look at creating new families, you know, if that is a necessity. Um, but our main goal at this point is to really support reunification of children with their families. And we cannot do that without the support of the community and the foster parents that we have available and are willing to do that service. Yeah, so, and, and that's a lot, right? And it, especially, it um, you know, I'm, you, you guys were, were busy in making, uh, making a difference and doing impactful work prior to the pandemic. And after the pandemic, I'd venture out to guess that that work has only accelerated and become um, increasingly important. So when you talk about supporting families, what kind of support programs do you offer? Sure. So we do offer our foster care program. Um, so that program is specific to, again, looking at services for the birth parents and helping reunite the children, also supporting the children in that process. So that could be counseling services, um, educational services, really kind of a full scope to ensure successful reunification, you know, when that is possible. Um, when that is not possible, when we talk about creating new families, it would be through our adoption program. Um, so we do have families that are interested in providing permanency to those children that are not able to return home. Um, we also do have treatment foster care homes. Um, so those families are really provided even additional training to um, provide a community um, home-based service um, for children age 13 to 17. Um, ideally, it is to keep them in the least restrictive setting and home-like setting and kind of diverting from what would be called a residential setting. Um, or it could be for children that are in a residential setting that are ready to step down but still need that intensive service. Um, we also offer counseling services to our children, but also external um, individuals that are looking for counseling services as well. Um, so really we're looking at a full scope of services um, to support not only the children, their families, we support our foster families with extensive training um, and really try to come together as a team, a professional team, to really support the services and making sure children are getting what they need as, along with their families. And, and I think you're being modest. The, the training and the, the programs that you offer, um, you know, I'm thinking like, it's not how I, can I get my three-year-old to eat his vegetables. I mean, right. you're talking hands-on. Uh, t tell us about some of the some of the details and sure. And what you um, so there is a lot of extensive training um, that is not only required through the state of Michigan, but also Ennis really makes sure that our families, our foster families, are trauma informed. Mm -hmm. So for those that you know are not aware, children that are coming into foster care have experienced different forms of trauma through abuse or neglect. Um, so we really want to ensure that families are maybe able to recognize what is trauma versus what would be you know an age appropriate reaction and to be able to give them the tools to support them in ensuring those placements stay stable and those kids you know are happy and healthy now you're now you're speaking my <laughs> language now you're speaking my language so the adoption piece because I think a lot of times I don't think people there, there's there a lot of folks um, you know have questions about adoption services and different things and I don't think a lot of people know that the the Mecca in our community is right downtown Port Huron. So why don't you elaborate a little bit on those services that you provide? Absolutely, so with the adoption services, when children are not able to be reuni reunited with their families, then they become available for adoption. Um, so a lot of times it could be their current foster parent that is interested in providing permanency, or we will 
you know, be seeking adoptive families to provide that long-term permanency. So it, it's very huge to have people that are willing to step up and, you know, provide that permanency to those children. And same thing, we provide training and supports and ensure that they are meeting all requirements to make that permanency successful. Exciting. So if folks want to get involved, if they want to help support the organization, visit the organization, volunteer, give, yes. how do they do that? Well, they can definitely go to nscenter.org. It does list all of our volunteer um, requirements and opportunities. Um, we definitely are always seeking individuals also that want careers in child welfare. We're always looking to build our team at our office and other offices um, throughout the state. Um, and we do have things, our biggest fundraiser, we have a golf outing in June in Fenton, and that is a, a huge fundraiser that helps us to raise funds to you know, continue to support our mission. So nscenter.org, or of course, go to your local NS office, which all of those are listed on the website. Outstanding, well, the, the work you do is, is noble, it's tremendous. Um, I appreciate you, Sally, for, for coming by and, and giving us that information. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us on Spotlight.